There you are, Cricket. Did you rest well? You have been through so much. I hope your fatigue has been eased. Yes, so much has come to pass. It seems like only yesterday when I handed you the Martial Tome. The Martial Tome stands as a record of the Hong Moon Arts, but it is just a book after all. You are the one who has breathed life into the pages. I am so very proud of you. All that you have been through, all which you have persevered, have added chapters to your own book. You are a master now. I have watched your journey from afar, and it has been remarkable. I have nothing more to teach you. You must now walk your own path. As for what that path is, or where it might take you, that is your choice. Only you can write the next chapter. But no matter the form your path takes, remember, we will always watch over you. You will never be alone. Hmm. I thank you. I had faith you would not fail. I have one more favor to ask of you. I want to give Soyeon a chance. A chance to start anew from a place in time without the Dark Chi poisoning her. With your power, we can turn her back. Ask for mercy. Thank you. Your kindness will always be remembered. You truly have walked the Hong Moon path. All of us now can finally rest in peace, Cricket. Do not grieve, little Cricket. Everything has an end. Let the end mark a new start for you. Live well, for all of us. I am very proud of you. Let the Hong Moon teaching be a beacon. Don't be in a hurry to catch up with us, okay? Be good, Cricket!
You're, you're alive? <laughs> I'm so glad you're all right. Everyone thought you perished in the explosion that day. Boy, what a relief to see you alive and well. Where were you? How have you been? Father's still traveling through the Talus Dominion. He's searching for Namsuyu. Just like with you, no one has seen her since that day. I hope she's okay, wherever she is. Father and all the others will want to see you. They're in for a real shock. It'll be great. Definitely. You never stay in one place for long anyway. Uh, but seriously, I'm really glad you came. I heard all about your adventures in the Cinderlands. Maybe you should give Yahara's Mirage a visit. You'll get a hero's welcome, I'm sure of it. I don't even need to say it, but you're always welcome here. After all, kinda gets boring without you. Oh, warrior. I hate goodbyes. Did you finish your chores already, Yanwa? Is your room still a disaster? Oh my! Is that really you? I can't believe you're alive! Thank the heavens! No, it is I who should be thanking you. You have reunited me with Yanwa. No amount of gratitude is sufficient. Needless to say, you will always have a home here at the Mirage. Yes, here I can protect her. This ordeal has revealed the power hidden within her. Power that can be used for great good or great evil. I will not fail her a second time. None of us should let our guards down. Darkness is persistent and will surely come again. But no matter what comes, I will protect Yanwa with my life. You have my word. Since you're here, why don't you meet Soha and Jewel as well? That said, they're not in the best shape. Yunsang? How dare you leave me? What, a monk? You gotta be kidding. Took my eye and heart. A great thief indeed. Ha! 
He looks big and strong, but he's a child when it comes to women. Huh? What? I've seen you before. You look just like someone I knew. What's it to you? You have no need to know of the dead. Such an idiot. Diving into the jaws of that Dark Lord to save the world? They're dead. I tell you, they're dead! I must be drunk. I'm hearing things now. Bottoms up! A toast! For Jewel and her man troubles. <laughs> and a toast for Lerock. Oh! And another toast for the savior of the world. Rest in peace. Huh. Who died and made you emperor? You're not the boss of me. Yahara sent you, didn't she? Huh. Hey, closing the bar already? Just one more drink before you do, okay? Huh? Why are you thanking me for? For drinking a lot? Don't just stand there. Give me another. Three dumplings in the kitchen. Why have you come before us so late? Do you know how much we have searched for you? I had soldiers overturning every stone from the Viridian Coast to the Silverfrost Mountains. <laughs> no need for apologies. I'm just glad you're alive. Your absence has weighed heavily on my conscience. I have turned inward much lately. I have decided to devote myself to the monastery. I plan to live out my life here, reflecting on my past life and past misdeeds. The throne never meant much to me. Power, fame, they are all fleeting and deceptive. My daughter has taken my place. She is wise and just, and she will be a better ruler than I ever was. Yes, the long winter of the Talus Dominion will now give way to spring. You have my gratitude for all that you've done. Perhaps, but you deserve it more than most. You are truly the savior of the Earthen Realm. Please, speak to Yun Sang as well. He will be eager to say a few words. And Warrior, you don't know the whereabouts of General Gubang, do you? He disappeared that day as well, and he has yet to show himself. I was hoping I would see both of you heading down that bridge toward me. A foolish hope it was. 
But I apologize for darkening the mood. I will still hope and pray for his return. You're alive! I was afraid I might have to send off our savior to the Nether Realm, the one who saved my Yanwa. I'd almost lost hope. The Lu Mang have a saying, better late than never. It is not very original. Honestly, it's rather stupid, but it fits here. Welcome back. Ah, it is doubly good to hear that my songbird flies strong and free with Yahara. It is best to learn how to be a woman from a woman, rather than from an old, woolly-headed thief such as myself. Yunwa deserves all of the bounty life has to offer. With me, she was becoming, well, me. And no young, beautiful creature deserves such a fate. And anyway, I have decided to store my old life away and devote myself to the monastery. I must atone for my sins, and with a list of sins as long as my own, this will take a while. <laughs> I bid you farewell. May the heavens bless you. Warrior, you are a My sight to be alive. Welcome. It is so good to have you back. You do us a great honor. Here. You must have been blessed by the heavens to be standing here like this. Both myself and the people of this nation are in your debt. You bow to no one. You are the savior of this world. Henceforth, you will be respected as highly as the Four Guardians, and dignified as a role model of the Empire. Please, treat me as you would a friend. I've been overwhelmed by business already. I'm starting to miss the days of near-captivity in the Royal Chambers. Much still needs to be done. Blood spills in the Moonwater Plains. People are in dire straits, and the Stratus Empire continues to threaten us. I'm still figuring out how to deal with all of this. I have never realized the burden my father had to bear all this time. Thank you. Perhaps I will not be a wise empress, but I refuse to be a tyrant. I hope you will keep a keen eye on me. Having said that, I was hoping you could stay and help me out. I need someone trustworthy like you. I thought so. I knew it before I asked. Keeping you confined within the court's walls would be selfish of me. Please, walk your own path, with my sincere thanks. It's been too long. I didn't know you were coming. I would have ordered up a festival, or bed of roses, or something fun like that. Since that dark day at the altar, I think everyone has grown closer together. And it doesn't hurt that the Empress flushed the old court out. I don't miss those sniveling worms or their mountains of paperwork. <laughs> yes, I think so. It's amazing how everyone from royalty on down worked to rebuild the city and restore order. Hey, if you can't be proud of your hometown, what can you be proud of? You'll always have an ally in Zaiwei and in me, warrior. The Empress knows what the heck she's doing, and she's taking all of us to new heights. And no, I haven't gone soft, I'm just laying down the truth. So soon is our parting. I am greatly in your debt. If not for you, the princess... No, 
The Empress would not be part of our world anymore. Should I take that as a compliment? <laughs> Is that so? Well, I hope a day will come when I can laugh without worries. Until then, I will aid Her Highness with all I have. There is someone waiting for you outside. Go and see him. Yes, be well. I shall miss you. Welcome! We were all waiting for you. I thought I'd never see your face again. Thank you for returning alive and well. Thank you. Our master and brothers are sure to be happy as well. I see. With your return, and with Jin so Yun's threat ended, their souls have finally found peace. I am glad they have moved on to a better place. And what's more, you have achieved the highest and most sacred of the Hong Moon Arts, only to use that strength in turn to save your sworn enemy. Not many would have made that choice. The future of the Hong Moon School now rests with you, and it could not be in better hands. Continue your journey of enlightenment. Continue to spread the teachings of Master Hong. We may still have dark times ahead, but you always have an ally and a friend in me. Thank you, Jiansei, for all you have done. Impressive. <laughs> but I wonder, are you so blind to the true war that lies in front of you? <laughs> Ha 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 